My name is Trisha Lockwood. I reside in Bowen, New Jersey. If you are praying, praying um, for God to take away people's depression, anxiety, anger, um, then you are not a minister of God and God is not going to answer your prayers. First of all, none of these things are are wrong and you're asking God to um, go against his design of his natural order. You have no insight, you do not speak by faith, and you are a false minister. It is true that, yes, people who stand on the dark side who are evil, such as you are, because only a person who would pray such things you don't have any insight um, to humanity. Um, and if you pray such things, <clears throat> um, you're praying for God to commit abominations against himself. You worship a false God. You are praying to a false, false God. You are not praying to God. And your prayers are sin. The thing is, is that uh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> The thing is, is that um, these things are natural. Now, it is true that people's evil and sin can use these same things. Yes, you can grieve against righteousness because apparently that's what you're doing if you're actually um, asking God to take away depression and anxiety um, and fear. Now, I'm not saying we have to live in fear. But is all these things are a natural defense for survival, for humanity. If you're asking God to take away um, pain, and you're not asking God against the evil oppressors, and I'm talking about you people who would actually pray such things for God to take away um your uh take away anger or, or or anxieties or or these things these things are not sin depression depression is an addressing of grievances that is against unjust oppression and like i said you can stand on the opposite side on the dark side and your sin find occasion with the law and um use um, your natural anger and depression for evil. Okay, but you won't be sinning uh, by these natural emotions. You'll be sinning by your false ways using those emotions. If you do not grieve or you're not angry in a righteous anger against the evils of the world, you're not of God. And you are evil. But if you are um, the righteous, righteousness use human emotions to express righteousness. And no, flipping tables like Jesus flipped tables is not a sin. If I wanted these churches and flipped their ch tables and started throwing their chairs... Oh, because of the wrath of God burning inside me against your evil. Believe me, it would not be a sin. See, you have no control whatsoever, no self-control. Jesus had self-control when he flipped tables and chairs. Because he knew what he was doing. He was in order in mind like I am. Now, I've never went and flipped out tables and chairs or whatever in one of these pagan churches. But these churches, like the ones who are committing hate crimes against me, and speak so much blasphemies and so much abominations against God, you're praying to the devil. It's repulsive. So, 
I hardly hear any of you praying to, oh, stop all these evils that are causing grievances. Grievances of the righteous. Hardly you people speak from your pulpits. Oh, because you would be speaking against yourselves. Like, well, you still are. But you are hardly speak and expose, oh, well, the evils of all these churches, all these church leaders, which you are all of. Your false knowledge is not Christianity. It is a false opinion that is a lie straight from the pits of hell. You are pagan and not Christian. These realities that I speak because I live in reality is Christian because it is the holy truth. Exposing it. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here reading about a father who, who, who justly and righteously killed somebody because they were raping their five-year-old child. If you don't have that anger, you're not of God. But no, you, you go around and, and you, you, your abominations when you claim love protect pedophiles and all their false abominable teachings that are against God. And then you go around claiming, oh, unconditional love. No. No. When it comes to man and the cross of the line between a fallen world with people who are evil and God's love, God created a hell and a hell for people like you. You are the ones who basically keep um, many people under oppression with your false doctrines. You have people like you have created the Nazis, <clears throat> persecuting um, Jews in the Holocaust and Christians. Your churches did this. You're the ones that have a delusional cult called the Psychiatric Association dragging up our children because you're convincing people that anger and grieving emotions are wrong and sin and a mental illness. Why? Because the righteous grieving mind that expresses depression and anxiety is a good con is a witness of the good conscience against your evil.